Well, new messages from Hunter Biden's damning laptop has revealed that he was transferring his assistant money for sexual FaceTimes instead of what seems to be money he owed her for doing her job. While the woman's name will not be repeated, the New York Post has seen the messages that were sent from Hunter's legal assistant in 2019. They were reportedly in a sexual relationship between 2018 to 2019, according to text messages on the discarded laptop that the Post has had a copy of since 2020. According to Marco Polo, the woman was an assistant receiving a salary from Hunter's law firm Owasco from mid-June to early October of 2018. Throughout these few months, the assistant was sent various transactions totaling nearly $45,000. According to Marco Polo, these odd transactions are actually part of the suspicious activity reports that have been filed against Hunter Biden by his bank. Media reports have suggested that the Biden family have accumulated over 150 SARS, which means that they've had transactions suspected to be relating to money laundry, fraud or criminal activity. Let's break down what these text messages show. The first is in an email obtained by the Daily Mail and shows the assistant reaching out to Hunter's secretary in January 2019, asking for a payment of over $837 that she was yet to receive from the law firm. She also details how her insurance didn't go through at a recent dentist appointment. She asks, I'm requesting information on my current status in this position of Los Angeles assistant. I'm also requesting to know the current status of my insurance and how long my insurance plan is to remain active. I haven't been able to get any contact with Hunter, so I'm completely in the dark. Hunter's secretary forwards the email to Hunter, to which two months later, he sends $1,000 and says, does this work just for small stuff? The former assistant says, appreciate it, anything helps. I've been scraping by for the last month or so. I haven't even paid my rent yet. Hunter then sends an Apple Pay transaction of 1,500 and writes, wanted to make sure it worked. I will bake up for back pay. You have to make up for back work by FaceTiming me and all going to our next club party. She says, when can you FaceTime? Hunter sends through $500 and says, when can you FaceTime? If we FaceTime, the rule has to be no talk of anything but sex and we must be naked and we have to do whatever the other person asks within reason. He then sends $750 asking if they have a deal to which the woman responds asking when they can talk and that she's free later that night. While the two are about to FaceTime, he asks her to set her phone up in the bathroom so that he can watch her shower. When the two are in the midst of their video chat, he continues to write very explicit messages while sending her money totaling nearly $4,000 over those few days. During this time, Hunter Biden had listed his father's home in Wilmington, Delaware as where he was living. This is the same home that's recently made headlines because classified material from Joe Biden's time as vice president was found in it. There has been speculation that classified documents may have something to do with American policies towards Ukraine. At the time, Hunter Biden was on the board of the Ukrainian energy company Burisma Holdings. Whether that means anything or not, there are concerns from Republicans over who had access to classified government documents at Joe Biden's home.